24% weight loss in 48 weeks. That's basically a 250 pound person losing 50 to 60 pounds in less than a year. That's a lot. That's the benchmark. That's the standard when it comes to weight loss. Everything in this video is for research and educational purposes. All of the clinical trials, studies, and research mentioned in this video was done under strict conditions. Please do not attempt to do anything that I suggest in this video. Thank you. Every year, there's always something new um, when it comes to peptide research. Always something new, something better, something hyped up as better, but it isn't good um, when it comes to peptides, especially when it comes to fat loss. That being the case, I decided to put together a list of the top five peptides for fat loss in 2025. I will rank these peptides in order. The first will be the least aggressive when it comes to fat loss to the most aggressive when it comes to fat loss. Um, I will go through clinical trials associated with each of these peptides, how much weight research subjects lost, um, the mechanisms used associated with these peptides in order to help research subjects lose weight, which you should expect if you take these peptides, should you stack them with other peptides or should you take them alone? By the end of this video, you, you should have a pretty good understanding of which one of these fat loss peptides is best for you based on your situation. That's my goal. So stay tuned, let's get into it. So the first peptide is AOD9604. Now, AOD9604 is somewhat different from the rest of the peptides on this list for one reason. All of the clinical trials, studies, and research associated with this peptide have stopped. The weight observed that was lost during the studies wasn't enough in order to get this compound approved for medical use. Um, AOD, it does work, but it's more so a mild uh, fat burner, not as effective as the other peptides on this list. Expected weight loss on AOD 9604. For 12 weeks, one milligram per day is four pounds. That's all you, you'll lose is just four pounds. And you losing this four pounds, not changing anything in your daily life. You are continuing to eat what you are currently eating. You are continuing um, to do the same level of exercise you have all, always done. Nothing is changing in your daily life. In my opinion, if you were to decide to use AOD 9604, stack it with something else, uh, a different peptide that helps with fat loss. There's plenty of them out there. But taking this alone, in my opinion, it's not worth the effort and time. But if you want to get aggressive with fat loss, stack it on top of something else that helps with fat loss. Don't take it alone. Don't waste your time, energy, and effort thinking that this is going to be all you need when it's not as effective as the rest of the peptides on this list. So, 5-amino-1-MQ. 5-amino-1-MQ is an NNMT inhibitor. It helps manage, manages your energy, your fat storage, and your cellular metabolism. All of that means is that it's a, a metabolic accelerator. It helps you lose weight by not eating less. No loss in appetite, none of that. Um, the research associated with this peptide is only in mice. They experience a 5% weight loss in their body weight in less than two weeks, which is highly impressive. No human data available just yet, but the mechanism that's used, the NNMT inhibitor, to help uh, accelerate your metabolism is impressive. Um, I can only guess that once they do human studies on 5-amino-1-MQ, those studies will be impressive just like the studies that were done on mice. So it's for, for a reason. It's for because there, there aren't any human trials to, to prove that what happened in, happened in mice will also happen in humans. That's it. Let's go on to the next. Number three is a stack. 
CJC 1295 no doc and um uh, um, CJC 1295 no DAC is a GHRH. Hyper is a GHRP. Um, you should always stack CJC 1295 no DAC with hyper The reason why I added this to the list is because it more so puts your body in an environment to where it can effectively help you lose weight. There are no clinical trials associated with this stack that will show you exactly how much weight you could lose, um, you're losing this weight indirectly based on um, better sleep, better overall body environment, um, better recovery, just overall improvement in, in you. It's optimizing you. It's metabolic support. But overall, if you run this stack and you run it the right way, um, you will definitely lose weight. Um, and that's why it's on this list. Uh, and, and there's a ton of research associated with um, this stack in particular. Um, that research just doesn't research how much weight you should expect to lose. But if you're looking for better sleep, better recovery, um, better overall metabolic support, this stack is absolutely great. It's a ton of research. It's been around for a while. Add it to your list if you're not using it. I use it, I run it, and I run the next two peptides as well. Number two is a powerhouse. Hands down, powerhouse. Probably one of the most effective, most studied peptides on the market today. That being said, I was on the fence about um, adding it at number two and not number one, but this list is about fat loss. It's about which peptide in 2025 will help you lose the most weight. And number two is effective, it's powerful, but number one, hands down, is by far the best peptide you can take to help you lose weight. Now, number two is Tessamorlin. Tessamorlin is absolutely amazing, it's expensive, and it's worth every penny. It's a GH-based peptide that helps you reduce visceral fat. Visceral fat on the surface may sound simple, but the health benefits that come from reducing this are significant. Your metabolic and cardiovascular health improves tremendously. Clinical trials show that reducing this helps your overall well-being. Now, what's visceral fat? Visceral fat is the fat around your organs, your heart, your liver, your kidneys, all of those organs. That's what's visceral fat. Not the subcutaneous fat that you can actually pinch. Um, it causes inflammation, causes insulin resistance. Reducing your visceral fat improves your overall health. And that's why Tessamorlin is highly effective. It's by far one of the best peptides you can take like I said, it's expensive, but it's effective and it's worth every penny. If you do decide to run Tessamorlin, run it with Ipermorlin. Ipermorlin is a little bit cheaper, but it's going to boost the effectiveness of Tessamorlin. I made a whole video on GHRH and GHRPs. That video explains clearly why you should stack this with Ipermorlin, stack Tessamorlin with Ipermorlin. It's not needed. But if you are going to spend the money on Tessamorlin, it's good to stack it with Ibermorlin. Um, Just to give you my overall personal experience with Tessamorlin to let you know how effective it is, um, I, when I started running right up, I was running 2 milligrams per week. I was 300 pounds. I'm 6'5", and I'm 50. When I started running right up, I lost 40 pounds in two weeks. My overall appearance didn't change much. Ran right up and lost 40 pounds. Cause I was all, I'm pretty sure most of that weight was water weight as well. But when I started running um, Tessa Morlin on top of Rudder, that's when the, the body recomp started to kick in. I started seeing veins in my legs, my arms, my whole overall body uh, composition started to change on Tessa Morlin. My body composition didn't change on Rudder. It changed when I introduced Tessa Morlin into my stack. So that'll give you an idea of what to expect if you run Tessa Morlin. I know most of you guys probably already know what number one is. Number one is Rudder True Tide. By far the most effective research compound on the market when it comes to weight loss. And when I say it's the most effective, just to give you an idea of what compounds came before Rudder True Tide, Sigma Glutide is a uh, GLP-1 and only a GLP-1. 
Terzepatine is a GLP-1 and a GIP. Uh, Redotrutine is a GLP-1, GIP, and a glucagon. It's the first triple action GLP-1. Highly effective at helping you lose weight. And just to give you an idea of what the research says, 24% um, weight loss in 48 weeks. That's basically a 250 pound person losing 50 to 60 pounds in less than a year. That's a lot. That's the benchmark. That's the standard when it comes to weight loss. No other research compound on the market will give you these results. Not just that, it also helps with muscle retention. The weight you do lose is fat. You may lose some muscle, but if you stick to a high protein diet and resistant training, you should retain most of your muscle mass while on with a true tide. It's effective, it's efficient, uh, and it's by far the best weight loss research compound you can take right now on the market, hands down. That's it. It's number one for a reason, because it's highly effective at helping you lose weight. That's it. Next one on the list is tesofensine. And the reason why I'm sharing tesofensine is not a peptide, but it's highly effective at helping you lose weight. Um, it's basically, it basically suppresses your appetite and gives you a ton of energy. That's it. That's what it does. As far as what the research suggests on how much weight you should expect to lose, um, 10 to 12% of your body weight in 28 weeks. That's somewhat more aggressive than some of the peptides on this list, and that's why I'm sharing tesofensine. It's highly effective. Um, dopamine, serotonin, um, neuroadrenaline, all of those receptors are activated when you um, use tesofensine. Highly effective research compound if you want to lose weight and you don't want to go the peptide route. That's why it's a bonus um, in this video. So that's it. Let's do a real quick recap on everything that I covered. Retotrutide, number one, a metabolic powerhouse. If your goal is to lose weight, Retotrutide is the go-to. Number two, Tessamorlin. Tessamorlin is a visceral fat reducer. I explained in detail why it's important for everyone to try to reduce visceral fat. Number three, CJC, no DAC, Ipermorlin. A GH-based stack helps with overall recovery. It helps with overall recovery, thereby helping you, you lose weight, improving, improving your fat metabolism. Number four, five amino one MQ. It improves your metabolism. Our only studies right now are studies in animals, but those studies are promising, and the mechanism it used to help you lose weight is very promising as well. Number five. Number five is AOD9604. AOD9604 is a GH fragment. It's very mild. It does help you lose weight, but it's not worth taking alone. You should stack this with some other research peptide to help boost that research per time. Don't waste your time taking AOD 9604 by itself. And the bonus, tesofensine. Tesofensine is effective and is somewhat more aggressive than the other um, research peptides that I mentioned in this video. It's a bonus because it's not a peptide, but it's absolutely amazing if you're trying to lose weight. So those are the five fat loss research peptides for 2025. If any of these uh, peptides are something that you are interested in and this video helped you, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you.